Here are some key features that make this robot stand out. Let's break it down. So first of all, the speech to speech communication figure two can actually have conversation with you thanks to its integration with OpenAI. This robot uses speech to speech reasoning, allowing it to understand and respond to verbal commands naturally. Imagine asking it to fetch a tool or complete a task and it replies just like a person would. This makes the interaction smooth and super intuitive. They actually did a demo of this when they released figure one. Let's take a look. I see a red apple on a plate in the center of the table, a drying rack with cups and a plate, and you standing nearby with your hand on the table. Great, can I have something to eat? Sure thing. Great. Can you explain why you did what you just did while you pick up this trash? On it, so I gave you the apple because it's the only uh, edible item I could provide you with from the table. Great, so based on the scene right now, where do you think the dishes in front of you go next? The dishes on the table, like that plate and cup, are likely to go into the drying rack next. Great, can you put them there? Of course. All right, so how do you think you did? I, I think I did pretty well. The apple found its new owner, the trash is gone, and the tableware is right where it belongs. I agree. Thanks, figure one. You're welcome. If there's anything else you need help with, just let me know. So now they're incorporating the same speech to speech reasoning, obviously using large language model from OpenAI, which is the GPT model. So with the figure two, it's going to have even a more advanced speech to speech reasoning because of the updates of GPT-4 model that they recently released. So this integration with OpenAI is extremely important and it's going to have a huge impact when it comes to these robots being able to have a natural conversation with human beings. All right, so the next one is this advanced self-learning abilities. One of the coolest features for figure two is the ability to learn from its mistake. So figure two can self-correct and get better over time, making it more efficient the longer it operates. And again, in this self-improvement aspect means that it's not just performing tasks, but actively getting smarter and more capable with each use, exactly like a human being would. So figure two has some enhanced physical capabilities as well. The figure two comes with a sleek matte black frame and hands that have 16 degrees of freedom, offering almost human equivalent strength and dexterity. And again, this is a huge improvement from figure one because initially the figure one was kind of really bulky. And the reason for that was because they wanted to make sure that it could withstand the extensive amount of testing um, that was needed in order to improve figure one to be able to have this slick and more robust design for figure two. So this sleek and matte frame and black frame that they applied for figure two allows the robot to really perform delicate tasks like handling fragile items with precision. And then it's also designed to be as close to human movement and capability as possible, making it very versatile for various applications, including uh, factory and including work that's kind of on a day to day basis, just like a normal human would. Figure two also has an improved battery life compared to figure one. So figure two got equipped with a 2.25 kilowatt hour battery, uh, which enjoys a 50% increase in runtime, giving it almost about 7.5 hours or seven and a half hours of operational time between the charges. And again, this extended battery life ensures that it can handle long shifts and continuous operations without frequent interruptions. Figure two also comes with a more sophisticated vision system compared to figure one. So figure two is outfitted with six AI powered cameras that provide a high level of visual understanding. Again, these cameras allow the robot to be able to navigate complex environments and interact with objects accurately. And based on the demo they did for figure one, the figure one had also the ability to really uh, recognize the objects around it and have interactions with it and also answer questions based on the observation. So the figure two update actually increases that ability to further um, have this advanced vision system, which again is a key for tasks that require detailed visual processing and interaction, making figure two highly effective in dynamic settings.